I'm going to show you how you can create a, an integration between your funnel and your campaign inside of system. So let's assume that you've already created your funnel, right? And what you just want to do, you want to connect your email autoresponder campaign to that funnel so that anyone who opts in is going to begin to get your series of emails now inside of system there are two ways to basically make this happen two ways now we have campaigns and we have automations inside of system but in this video i'm just going to focus on campaigns so basically let's say this is your funnel and you have your opt-in page let's say this is your opt-in page right here and you have your opt-in form configured correctly now first of all this is basic you need to make sure that your first your form first name is set like if you're collecting the first name and make sure also that the email is also set right basically you must collect an email right because you want to send them emails to this email now the other thing you need to make sure you have set up is your button now make sure your button is set to send form now do not make the mistake of setting your button to next url next url is not going to submit this form. This is a mistake some people make so i've seen people who have set up their button to next step in the url and they assume that when people give their first name and their email it is going to send the information over no that information is not going to be submitted into your contacts if you want the information to get into your contacts make sure the button is set to send form now then when you set it to send form you can now come here and set what you want to happen after they fill out their details the first option is you can send them to the next step which could be your thank you page the next option is you can send them to a another url so i could basically come here and send them to another url right and send them to another url and the other option is you can say no redirection so no direction basically means that when they fill out their name and their email they are going to stay on this page now, in other words this page is not going to reload to another page it's not going to be redirected to another page they're going to remain on this page so you can also do that now so that could come in handy if you want to have a thank you page that doesn't redirect in other words you also you want to have a contact page on your website that doesn't redirect so you can set up a contact page where when they fill the form the form clears they stay on the same page you don't go to another page but the information is received by you now the other thing you can set up here is you can enable double opt-in right you know what double opt-in is that means that they need to confirm their email before they will begin to receive information from you so they will get a confirmation email and they must confirm their email for them to begin to receive your series or whatever goodies you want to give to them so that is the first you need to make sure this is done right right then when this is done right so in this case i'm just going to set it to next step in the url right next send form and next step in the url and then i say save now once this is done correctly the next thing you want to do is to go to your settings on your funnel right you see we have step configuration and then we have automation rules so you will come to automation rules right and now there are two types of triggers in the automation rules inside of system you can trigger um, an event based on so you can trigger an autoresponder based on someone filling out the form you can trigger it based on someone visiting the page now this is more likely to be used when you have people who are already in your contact list and say maybe you send them an email and you want to connect them to you want to create different rules or send them different kind of campaigns based on pages that they visited now you can use this setting however for this example we are going to be using this option which is they have filled out this form what do you want to happen now, now you come to the action and you click the plus now there are different options here which makes a lot of sense you can subscribe them to a campaign you can unsubscribe them from a campaign you can add them to a tag you can remove them from a tag you can decide to just send them an email you can decide to send an email 
to a specific email address in other words so for example if you want to set up notifications so when someone fills out a form you want to set send a notification to yourself that okay a new lead has been created you could use this right and then you could also send a web hook now if you don't know what a web hook is let's not get into that for now so in this example we want to do two things we want to add them to a tag now in in SIO, we, a, a list in what you call active campaign is what we call, we will say a tag here. In SIO, we don't have list, everything is in a tag. So basically, your tag will be your list also, and your tag is your tag, like in other softwares. So you must have created your tag. So two things I will want to do is I will want to add them to a tag, in other words, a kind of list. So let's say I'm adding them to... Um, this list called custom ticket request and i say save right you must make sure you save the rule then so i want to add them to this tag the next thing i want to do i want to subscribe them to a campaign and the campaign i want to subscribe them is this right uh let's let's just select any campaign here uh, uh, Okay, let me just see. Yeah, so add, add them to this campaign. And I see save. So two things are going to happen when they fill out this form, right? Now, just to be sure that you've done that well, make sure you come back here and check again, right? So two things are supposed to happen when they submit the form, when they subscribe to that form. Number one, I want to add them to the tag or custom ticket request that way their contact is in that tag and secondly i want to add them to this campaign so that the auto responder in the campaign will go out now once that is done if you have not yet set up your campaign or like created your emails first of all you need to create your campaign before you come here because um, the way sio works your campaign needs to be set so that you can select it from the list so <laughs> If that is done and maybe you, you've already set up your campaign, uh, no, you must have already set up your campaign. So let's say your campaign is here, but let's say you don't have an email inside your campaign. So now you can come and create your campaign. So you can come and create your email. So inside your campaign. So as you see, this campaign here, let me cancel, is empty, right? There's no email in the campaign. So I need to add an email to that campaign. So Let's say and here your email which you must have verified inside of not which you must have verified the domain to increase your delivery rates inside of SendGrid, right? And here I would say zero days or zero hours. Anyone works. And then you put the sender name and use let's just test. Now I guess you already know this. You can grab this information from here. Hey, first name. Thank you for requesting. Let's just say something like that, right? And you would say safe. So that's the first email is been set. And then let's say we are adding a follow up email. Now, take note, this is just an example, so don't take me seriously. I'm just creating emails here just to, for this example. So 
So let's say this is the second email. Now, I can say I want this email to go one day after the first email. Take note, one day after the first email. So the way this works, it's set up to work based on the previous email that you have created. So you can say one day after the previous email, after this email has been sent, and then you could actually set a specific time of the day when you want this email to go out, right? So let's say 10, 30. Right now, because this is 20, this is set up in 24, so you know that 10 is basically talking about the morning, right? 10 o'clock in the morning. So, and then you can also say that, okay, this email can go out any day of this week now if you want these emails not to work on sunday you can disable sunday right here so what's going to happen is if the previous email the first email was sent on saturday then this email will not go out on sunday right because it doesn't fire on sunday it will go out on monday so you can set your so you set up your settings and once you you have everything set up i'm just going to keep 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 that disabled right this is both of these i'm going to keep disabled i just want it to go one day after the first email so and then i would say save now you get the point so what's going to happen now is when someone gives their name on that funnel this automation, this campaign is going to be triggered. Now, there's another way to still send people an auto in, in a series of emails using workflows, but we're not going to get into that today. Hope this video helped. Thank you.